Pisces. Hi, it's Lisa here from What's a Name Tarot. I'm here to do your monthly reading. <laughs> Nearly got it wrong. For May 2023. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur, and cross watches are welcome. So first up, apologies, biggest apologies for the last few weeks um, with no readings. I got sick over Easter and pretty much after that things turned to shit and went downhill and um, yeah, still a bit get out of breath easily but I'm here, <laughs> I'm still here. So biggest apologies but now we'll begin the monthly reading because this is about you so pisces clear messages from spirit please for may 2023 for pisces So overall, Pisces, you do get the Hierophant. It is reversed, may have connection to a Taurus here. This is about um, feeling like the peer pressure is being put on you to do something in a certain way. And it is almost an ultimatum kind of pressure with that with it reversed, with the Hierophant reversed. And this is trying to, like in the clarifications, I try and get things up right with the reversals, but um, needing to speak up but for some reason at the moment um, that being reversed it's like it's not your moment to speak up just yet but being aware that the pressure is being put on you working with that in the best way possible so present energies if I can pick it up um, you get the eight of swords it is reversed okay um, this is feeling like not being able to find those other ways around things even though I say legally and morally finding those detours the Hierophant and the Eight of Swords both together as reversals is feeling like you're stuck in a rut at the moment it is crossed upright with this tower here which is talking about the build-up of energy that is happening around this and then finally being able to release everything out into the universe and it may be a case of taking some time to let the dust settle and then working out what works for you what doesn't and being able to start to build something solid from the ground up here Prince of Wands upright in your strength area. This is about focusing on what you want, who you want, where you want to be, holding that focus. There is that determination um, to go after your dreams. It may be a rocky ride. There may be the ups and downs. Nothing is usually smooth sailing, but this is about holding that focus and being able to get things moving towards what you want out of this. Okay, hopes and, um, no, I'm not even up to hopes and fears, sorry, <laughs> focus, <laughs> focus area, <laughs> focus area Pisces, it is the six of cups reversed, I feel like there's been some sort of offer of a reconciliation of something from the past here, it may be around love, it may be a job you once worked at, it may be a hometown you once lived in, with that being reversed, it's almost like, um, well there's two ways it's either hell no i'm not going back there but it's also about revisiting the past okay and not letting that past hold you back not wanting to go back to the past so in your recent past energies you do have the eight of pentacles reversed there and i feel like there's been some sort of opportunity and i feel like it's been a pretty big opportunity here that's been missed because a lot of focus was being put on to one particular area here and things seem to be passing you by. That is in the past, it may be the past that you don't want to revisit, but we will clarify everything shortly. Um, incoming energies, it is the Ten of Wands reversed, still feeling like you're carrying this burden, feeling like you're having to do everything yourself or do everything on your own and not being able to close that kind of energy off here. And this just all comes back into this whole flow here 
of this pressure that's been put on you. It's almost like, as I said, an ultimatum, but ultimately out of this, it's taking a hell of a lot of strength to focus on your dreams and your goals. You know, there may be um, some someone here that you're needing to take care of. It comes down to having to look after number one first before looking after others, but it's just an example here that you may have somebody that is quite dependent on you and um, it seems that all your plans and ideas have had to be sidetracked because of that. But um, as I said, we will clarify shortly. What you need to know, Four of Pentacles, it is reversed. It's okay to release some energy here, especially with this tower. Things can only go so far. And as I said, you can only give so much, but um, also it's taking that time to look after yourself as well. This Four of Pentacles reversed is um, feeling like finally figuring out what can be released and what can be kept here to keep things, I don't want to say keep things sane, like, but keep things on track without going down the gurgle, down the plug hole, as they say. Tough reading, Pisces. I'm a Pisces. Okay, so what are, how others see you? Okay, Four of Cups, and that is reversed as well. Not a bad one to have reversed, because this is now opening your eyes, seeing that there are actually other options, and not letting those other opportunities pass you by. This is exactly like the Eight of Pentacles back here in the past, being reversed. Um, because you're so focused here, things are passing you by, and there's all these what do they say when the doors open all these opportunities that may be passing you by but now this is about um, that others have seen these opportunities that you have may have had but you it's not that you haven't seen them but as I said as going back to that example you've got your priorities here to look after somebody that may be dependent on you and this is now realizing that okay that you can kind of come to a balance you can come to a kind of a connection here that will let you follow what what you're on this earth for wow hopes and fears your own energy may have connection to another pisces this is the moon and it is upright and it, again when things do seem a bit darker and grey, that moon that energy that's your own energy there is giving you all the clarification that you do need you are able to see clearly you are able to focus on what works for you and what doesn't and i feel like it still comes back to this whole tower moment crossing you of knowing what needs to be released and what needs to be kept because your final outcome is finally getting things back into balance and alignment whether it's within which I'm um, around this reading I actually do feel like this is actually getting this alignment back into place here but also where you have been pulled in different directions things are starting to settle you're able to start to focus on building something solid from the ground up here here on in I'm going to say but um, I'm going to say there it seems to be a bit of a tough journey at the moment but we will clarify everything here Pisces starting with the Hierophant reversed overall love that that flew out the Empress seven of swords six of swords you are very intuitive um, and I feel like your heart your gut instinct it is telling you that maybe there are some plans that need to be put into place here to get things moving forward um, away from the deceptive energy, away from the gossip and the backstabbing, away from this hierophant energy, this peer pressure. It may be unnecessary peer pressure, but um, I feel like you, while you're wanting to please everybody, there's going to come a point where for your own, own sanity here, it needs to be your number one. And this is talking about now starting to put some plans into place realizing the pressure that is being put on you and how much you can actually take wow Pisces present energies eight of swords reversed 
Princess of Pentacles, love that. Three of Wands, Two of Swords. Somebody is offering to come on board here and ease this burden. Problem shit, problem halved. It is easier said than done when somebody is making this offer here. But they are willing to come on board and to help ease this burden. Okay, And you're looking at the bigger picture here and realizing, okay, maybe you can't do it all on your own. As much as I'm someone who loves to do it on my own, um, you know, there's times when people, when you do require people to come on board and to ease the load. Doesn't mean that they're taking over. You've got this Two of Swords here as well, and this is a bit of confusion over this offer that's being made. Do I accept it or don't I? Do I keep doing this alone or do I bring somebody on board and help to ease this burden? If it's a legal contract of some sort, it's also saying open your eyes, read the fine print, make sure that everything is kosher before getting embarking on that journey right there. But I feel like this is more just of somebody coming in and being by your side on this journey. So the tower that you're crossed with there. Seven of Wands, Knight of Swords, Three of Cups. Not giving up, not quitting, not rushing into things either, slowing down and rethinking here. You know, you start, you've got this opportunity here to build something solid from the ground up and it's about not rushing into things. If that persistence is still kicking in, you are celebrating an outcome here and I feel like this is just this whole release of this whole energy that's been holding you down, bogging you down here. And while that end plan is still in sight, that persistence is there, feel like this is now your moment to actually start solid. Start solid and finish solid. Prince of Wands, strength area. You get the Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, the Hanged Man. And again, slowing down with that Knight of Pentacles there. Look at all of your options. You may feel like you're waiting on somebody else to make their mind up. It could be a decision around this offer that's being made back here. But while you are hanging around, you've got time to slow down and look at your options here. Dig deep and see what some of these options actually hold. And I feel like you may be quite surprised. Focus area, Six of Cups reversed, you get the King of Pentacles, the Magician, Seven of Pentacles. Sudden success here, you're manifesting sudden success, but I feel like you also know that it takes a lot of hard work to get that success, sudden or not. And that focus area of that Six of Cups reversed, this is talking about not letting the past hold you back. This is now all about the journey forward, what you are manifesting, what you are creating the magic for, but what you are also putting the hard work in for and to getting that success there. Past energies, the Eight of Pentacles reversed. Six of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, Queen of Wands. Equal give and take, balance. There's been this offer of love here and always say if someone's doing all the giving, someone else is doing all the taking. This offer of love, it may be a job you love, it may be a home you love, it may be even love, love. But this is about having the confidence and determination to go after what you want here, what you want, who you want, where you want. But as long as things remain balanced, things do start to pick up the pace. Especially releasing this burden here, get this upright with the incoming energies, is this Ten of Wands. Princess of Swords, the World, Three of Pentacles. I feel like this has all been one life lesson, and it's been one hell of a tough life lesson, okay? But now this is again talking about a partnership that's involved to ease this burden. You don't have to do this on your own. And this is about putting the plans into place, building something solid from the ground up, but possibly building it together. Um, teamwork, collaboration, and bring it on. You're actually now quite ready for this. And that in itself, bringing somebody on board does actually turn that Ten of Wands upright and release that whole heaviness. So, what 
what you need to know Pisces four of pentacles reversed judgment the moon the lovers three arcanas right there super energy when you possibly post possibly most need it you know what I was trying to say there may have connection to another Pisces to a Gemini there is love here soulmate twin flame somebody significant this may be this whole partnership on board here existing relationship somebody brand new keep an open mind it's possibly somebody brand new um, that you least expect would be the one to step up and be by your side which may then lead to something um, a lot deeper right here but um, that moon again your energy and it's giving you all the clarification that you do need to see I usually say see what's in front of you but this may be see who is in front of you who's by your side for this how will this see you four of cups reversed six of wands knight of wands nine of swords victory right here you've got that focus of where you're heading yes it does come with its own set of stress and sleepless nights here but ultimately this is about digging deep that determination and getting that victory and others see you as that victory is now coming your way love that hopes and fears the moon pisces you get the Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. I always say clear the crap out from the past. It's one foul swoop of that sword cuts everything out and this new clearing begins. This new opening is right there. Okay, proud of your achievements, proud of how far you've come, especially emotionally. As I said, it's been one tough journey to this stage, but that moon is now giving you the clarity along with the Ace of Swords, clearing all that crap out, as I mentioned, and being able to now see very clearly where to from here. In Pisces, final outcome, Two of Pentacles. You get the Hermit, Death, Ace of Pentacles. Love that. May have connection to Virgo or Scorpio here. Bring on this whole new successful chapter that is about to begin. Doing some soul searching, some contemplation, seeing light at the end of the tunnel and being able to leave that past in the past. It's been one tough life lesson possibly. And now this whole new opportunity, this whole new world does open up right here. So I hope you've stuck it out through the reading Pisces. We will finish with what the universe says. Nine of Pentacles upright, Ten of Cups upright, all upright, Six of Swords upright. That success is right there in front of you. Emotional happiness, stability, um, maybe compatibility right here with somebody significant with that Ten of Cups. The plans are being put in place. Action is being taken to get things moving in a very forward direction. Love that to finish. So Pisces, that's what I have for the month. Do hope it helped. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next for the weeklies. See ya. Bye.